Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a classic but a very powerful machine learning model called as logistic regression. In my previous videos, I have made a lot of videos on how we can do linear regression and build linear regression models in Excel, how we can measure them and make predictions using them. If you have not taken a look at that, I will leave a li link to the playlist in the description and you can take a look at that. In today's video, we are going to be talking on logistic regression and how we can build the logistic regression algorithm using Excel from scratch. So do follow along. But before we dive right into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics across different technologies. So first, let us understand what is logistic regression. So as we have seen in linear regression, what we do is we have dependent variables and we predict a target variables. So in that case, say I have whether a student has passed or failed in the exam in the past and what are the hours the student has studied and then I want to predict what could be his possible test score. This is an example of a linear regression or a regression analysis model. In logistic re regression, we typically want to ask questions of our data or we want to do classification uh, or prediction with the data. So for example, in the case of this data set, say I have the R studied and the previous scores of a certain set of students. Now I want to build a model which will tell me will, will the student pass or fail. I want to predict whether a student is going to pass or fail in the exam based on the R studies and the previous course. So this is the case for a logistic regression model. So, so we're going to see how to build this model in Excel from scratch. I've taken a small data set. So these are 15 rows for the uh, uh, train data and we have some a few rows for the validation set which we use to validate our model. So let's get started. Okay. So first I'm going to create the uh, the model parameters. So B0, B1 and B2 these are nothing but the coefficients and in a linear regression model you would have seen that you use these coefficients to make predictions of continuous variables but in a logistic regression model these will give you nothing but the log odds. Okay. So these are the log odds. So I'm going to enter some values here first. So say 2, 0, 2, 0 and 0 so that I can build out this. So I'll say equal to B0. Okay. And let us fix this. Okay. Plus some product. Okay. Because I want to multiply these two values by the coefficients. Let us fix this and close this and hit enter and now I'm going to copy this down okay so this gives you my log odds now from the log odds if I want to get the odds so that I can typically do by using the exponent fun function so I just say odds because we, if you remember your probabilities odds, odds can be used to calculate the probabilities from your mathematics classes right so equal to exponent and I will type off the odds let me do this f2 and type of the odds of the log odds log odds and let's copy this down and now from the odds i want to get the probability so if you remember the formula for this is odds divided by one plus odds so i can do this by equal to okay i'll do this by equal to of odds divided by one plus odds this is your probability now we have found the probability and now from the probability of passing or failing we want to see what is the likelihood of passing and failing that came before that we have to write an if formula so i can do is equal to if okay now if the person had failed okay if this is equal to one if he had passed then the probability is the current probability or if he has failed then the probability is one minus the current probability okay this is the likelihood now, now to train the algorithm i need to maximize this likelihood so i can uh, i can multiply these values and find the maximum but this is going to get very very small and this will not be possible to calculate so for that i'm going to do the log of the likelihood so log likelihood so i can sum that and find the maximum of that okay this is the natural log and I'll select this and I'll hit enter and I'll copy this down. Now the aim is to maximize the sum of this, okay, to find the coefficients of the log 
logistic re regression model okay so i'm going to sum this up now equal to sum sum this let me copy this h19 Now I want to maximize this. Okay, so then I will get the coefficients for the logistic regression model. For that, I'm going to go to data. I'm going to be using the solver. Okay, so what is my objective? This is my objective. I want to maximize this, and by changing the values of the coefficients. Okay. Now I want to set some constraints here. The reason is because if the log odds get too big, then then the exponent will be very very large, and Excel will throw an error. Right. So I want I. I want to keep the log odds within range. You can experiment with this and choose a value which will give you better accuracy. I'm going to stick with a number, say five, now to keep it uh, fairly small. So I'm going to add a constraint. So how do you add a constraint? Click on Add here. Select all of this, and I'm going to say this is going to be greater than or equal to minus five. So I've taken the range from minus five to five. Add another constraint. Uh, sorry, select this, and say less than or equal to five. You can try with different parameters and see what gives you a better result. I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to remove this make unconstrained variables because the coefficients can be negative as well, and select GRG non-linear. Okay, that is the generalized reduced gradient. And click on solve. Okay, now you can see the solver has given me the result. It has maximized this. Okay, it was a bigger number earlier. Now it's small, and here you can see it has given me the probabilities. Okay. Now I want to make predictions using uh, using these probabilities. And how to measure your model and how to find how how accurate or how good your model is. I'm going to be making another video on that because it's 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 too big a topic to cover uh, to cover in a single video. But now we just see once we got the probabilities how to make predictions. So I'm going to copy my my test data here. Let me just shift it on top. Okay. And now let me try to make a predictions. So I'm going to copy this down. Okay, let me copy this down. These are my log odds. These are my odds. These are the probabilities. Okay, and so now let me color this so that we don't get confused. This is your your validation set that we are going to make predictions using. Okay, let me just remove this. You can ignore this. We can ignore. Okay, so now this is my probabilities. Now I want to make predictions. Okay, now to make predictions, I'm going to first highlight this part. Let's highlight this part so that we know that we are predicting for the same rows, okay, as the training set. And now I'm going to write predictions on top. And let me define a cutoff value, okay. So I'm going to use an if condition. So if I use, I'm going to use an if condition on the probabilities. I'm going to say if the probability is greater than 0.5, which is greater than 0.5, then if it's greater than this cutoff value, let me fix this. Hit F4. Then the student would would pass, and if it is less than 0.5, then the student would fail. This is my predictions. So I'm going to close this and hit Enter. And now I'm going to copy this down. And now you can see my predictions. In this case, since the, since the data set is small, my model has perfectly fit the data, and you can see I've got a 100% accuracy. My model has perfectly predicted. This is my uh, the actual values of whether the student has passed or failed. And these are my actual predictions whether the student has passed or failed, and, and the predictions are 100% matching the uh, the uh, actual values. So this is a small model, so this will not happen in the real world case. But I will show you on how on uh, on how you can actually improve this or uh, by you know by tuning 0.5. So this 0.5 is called the hyperparameter. By tuning this, also you can improve in you know, a better accuracy. So since since this, this is a small data set, I have got 100% accuracy. And now in the next video, I'll be talking about how we can measure the accuracy of your model, the metrics used for measuring the accuracy of your model, for checking the precision and the recall, okay, and how we can decide what is this cutoff point, right? Whether I should take 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, or higher cutoff points, that will uh, that will, uh, will, uh, will depend on the different accuracy metrics that we are looking at and what you want to achieve from your model, okay? So that's a very interesting topic. So stay tuned for the next video. You will understand what is the value of alpha you should choose to make better predictions because there's always a cost sometimes you need more accuracy sometimes you need more precision so or you you'll also have to have to have to decide whether uh, true positives or false positives are more impactful for you so you'll learn all that in the in the next video i hope you like this video and 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 it was useful 
you know for you to set up a logistic regression model from scratch and to make predictions uh, with it do leave a comment if you have used logistic regression by any other method by code it's very simple but i thought i'll explain in excel so, so that you understand the concept do leave a comment on my logistic re regression and linear regression series and do let me know any other topics you want me to make do a subscribe to my channel and leave a like and a comment on the video thank you